Hi, and welcome to the third JCU Library Top Tips video. Previously, we learned how to identify keywords, limiters, and task words in an assignment topic. Before we start searching for information, there are a couple of other things to consider. Do some reading in your textbook and other reference works to get a bit more understanding of what the topic is about. If there is more than one topic to choose from, this may also help you decide which one to select. In English, there is usually more than one word with a very similar meaning. These words are known as synonyms. Including synonyms for your keywords will improve the results of your search. Also, there may be related keywords that should be included in our search strategy. For example, if we look up synonyms for natural disasters in a thesaurus, we see terms such as catastrophe, apocalypse, cataclysm, disaster, and act of God. As well as these synonyms, there are many types of natural disasters and we need to identify these as well, such as those mentioned in the context of this assignment topic. Bushfires, severe storms, floods, earthquakes, and landslides. These related keywords can also have synonyms. You can find background information and identify alternative and related terms in your readings or textbooks, or by asking people such as your lecturer, tutor, or a librarian. Wikipedia is another option worth exploring to help identify additional keywords and can be useful for background information. We would advise you against using Wikipedia as a reference in university assignments though. If you find something interesting in Wikipedia, corroborate it in a more traditional scholarly source, like the one we're about to look at. Because Wikipedia can be edited by anyone, it is not generally considered to be a good source of information for university assignments. However, it does depend on the topic and your lecturer's preferences, so check. So let's take a quick look at Credo. Credo is available from the databases link on the library's homepage. In Credo, we can search for a term or phrase and get reliable reference material. We can also use the mind map feature to create a concept map, which will visualize our terms with other related terms. This can be a good way to find more keywords and related terms to search. Concept maps can also help us plan ideas and understand the relationships between concepts. If you need any help, please get in touch. To find out how, click on Get Help on the library homepage. You can use the library FAQs to answer some common questions, use our chat service during library opening hours, use the Info Help contact form, or phone the library for more assistance. Next, we will learn about how to formulate a search strategy.